Bailey. George Harrison actually sent me this. Do you know George? Uh, no. Anyway, welcome to Icons, Legends and Enigmas. Enigmas. We're talking to Roger Rabbit, famously of the Killer Rabbits rock band. Um, and we're talking today about the demise of so many members of staff, so many personnel over the years. Mm -hmm. Perhaps most significantly is Nick. Nick Seaside Rabbit. Yeah. Nick Seaside Rabbit, he was a, he a fantastic bloke. Oh, we loved him. He was, a, he was a great guy. And we were just so sad when, when you know, circumstances meant that he had to leave us. Um, he had uh, he he was very influential, you know, in, in music generally. Um, I don't know if you know the band Happy Mondays. Well, they had um, they used to have this thing called a wah wah pedal, and he'd been he'd been to see uh, Jimi Hendrix in the States. Do you know Jimi? I do. do you? Not personally. Oh right. And um, Jimi introduced to, introduced him to this new thing, this new thing called a wah wah pedal. We brought it over. And um, and it's so we had this wah wah pedal going on. Now just go wah wah. And um, he had upon the idea of connecting two of them up. So we had a sort of a wah 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 pedal. And um, and they used to sort of take up a lot of room on the stage. And they just took it too far. Like everything, he he joined three together, and then he had a wah 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 pedal, and he had five or six in the end. Um, yeah, he had um, a wah 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 wah. Wah 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 wah. And they just used to get in the way. And we used to call it his chainsaw. And um, our singer Roger Rabbit used to um, used to trip over them all the time. And it was just health and safety. Although we didn't have that then. So we felt that you know we'd have to ask him to leave. And, and you were chosen, weren't you? To... Yeah, it was. We had a raffle, which was fantastic because I've mean, never won a raffle before, and I was absolutely over the moon. Mind you, at that point I didn't know what the prize was, but you know I thought it, was, it wasn't a bad prize because it was it was an honour in a way. What happened is I went I went round his flat, you know, he had a little flat, and um, I went round there, and and he must have had when looking back now, you know, with hindsight, he must have had some sort of an inkling, an inkling that that something was going to happen um, because he's. Because we'd been on about his guitar playing, you know, not quite up to the standard that we were about expecting. And he bought a new guitar. And it had cost probably, you know, a couple of hundred pounds. It was a Gibson Fatter Strender cutter or something. And it was a lovely guitar. And he said, oh, I bought some new guitar. And I said, you yeah. know, he played a little bit on it. And he bought guitar. some other things too, I gather. Yeah, he bought a new costume, a new stage outfit that had cost him oh, a lot of money. And um, a new car. Because he used to come to gigs on the bus, of course, which was it, it was difficult coming on the bus if the bus didn't actually go to where the gig was. If the bus went, you know, I mean, I remember once he turned up at my auntie's, um, um, and of course the gig was miles off, but that's where the bus went. So it was a bit hit and miss. Um, new strings, he bought some new strings for his guitar and everything. And um, he was quite a sentimental chap as well. He was very sentimental, which of course made what we were doing that much harder. I mean, he had this sort of cupboard, and um, he had in the cupboard lots of shelves and all little mementos that he got from different gigs, and he had them all labelled in little plastic bags and everything. Um, he had a walnut from the walnut tree, grape from the bunch of grapes, uh, a little little bottle of miniature bottle of sherry from a gig we did at Bristol. University. Um, yeah, dog from the dog and boat. Yeah, I just made that up. Um, tartan cushion, Ronnie Scott's. Um, in you know, you know, pristine condition. You could still see some vomit stains on it. You know, um, where Ronnie Scott himself, I think, had been sick while we were actually playing. Tent peg from um, the Marquee. And how did you eventually get rid of him? Um, well, um, I said, look, Nick, you know, and I was sitting down, and Nick said, look, tell you what, before you say anything, I've got some fantastic whiskey. You know, I brought it back, and I've been saving it. I said, but you and me, he said, we go back a long way, don't we? I said, well, yeah, we do. And then I, and then I just said, I just said, well, see you at the gig. 
And you didn't tell him where it was? Or when, for that matter? No, that's what we did in the end. Hmm. 